you want to give your heart and life to God and Jesus, call CBN at one 800 9413 That's a real prayer line if you need prayers. Or one 800 7000 They pray for you. They're pretty awesome. Out of all the other Bible resources or Bible stuff, um, they offer a super book app for kids that you can download out of all the other Bible apps if you need a Bible on your phone. That one downloads the quickest and the easiest. Um, even when we're like in the village and you know you have kind of bad service, but I don't know somehow that was able to download. Um, so it's Christian Broadcasting Network. They do a really awesome job of providing resources. Once you come, if you're new to knowing about Father God and Jesus. Uh, they provide a booklet called The New Day. It has questions and answers you might have about coming to know Father God and Jesus. They have awesome resources at www.cbn.com. So I didn't know about Jesus returning until somebody posted about Jesus on Facebook. I kind of laughed at it. I mocked it. I was like, why are they posting about Jesus, especially on Facebook? Uh, and I read all it said was Jesus. And his testimony was up on this Russian Orthodox or some sort of website for only a couple of days before they would take it down. <laughs> I don't know, religious leaders, whatever, took it down and just, I don't know, it went away. Anyways, that was up there for a couple of days and I don't know, my two babies at the time were sleeping. And they were in diapers and they were napping so I clicked on it. Anyway, all it said was Jesus. So I was like, okay, what's this about? So I, <laughs> I don't know. I clicked on it. Um, it was Abraham and Pelagio just testimony. I would believe his testimony because he's from back home, our area. And we always ride right on snow go. So in his testimony, he had a snow, snow go accident. So it's like one of the only ways you can get around the village, especially during the winter time. Unless you got dog team or whatever they used to get around with dog team. Dog teams are pretty cool. Um, anyways, he, his testimony was pretty amazing. It would take a month after that I clicked on that website that I would get my chain fixed for my cross. Uh, I remember the chain coming in and then I put my cross on it and then I put my necklace on I said the prayer it was probably the Lord's prayer you know the our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven forgive us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors <laughs> it is not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one so anytime you talk about Jesus or father God these I don't know some of these other weird things will attack you got to armor up it says, put on the armor of God and God will protect you. Amen. And Jesus is pretty awesome. He still heals, he delivers, and he sets free. So in that dream I started out, I was in these huge, big, brown chains of sin. And I was going towards hell. And one of the sins that I had committed when I saw Jesus return. Before I saw Jesus return in this dream, I did see the Antichrist. Um, and never, I don't know, <laughs> it's been so long, I mean, like 10 years almost, like, well, it's nine, nine years going on 10, it'll be 10 years in October 16, 2013 was when I had that dream, and so when I dreamt Jesus returned, never did I think that Jesus could, or God, or creator, <laughs> could walk up to you and tell you he's coming back, get right with him. Because he's going to destroy the whole world. <laughs> he's coming back. It's like how it's been prophesied in the Bible. According to Joel 2 verse 2 8. He'll pour out his Holy Spirit in the last days. And people will tell you Jesus is returning. I had a Jesus returning dream. And he returned. And I got left behind. I looked up. And there he was in the sky. Um, he did. I thought it was the sun descending. That's how bright he was coming down. I was like, why is the sun coming down from the sky? It was Jesus. He was this beautiful white light of love, peace, and joy. But I wasn't going with him because I had mocked and 
teased people about Jesus, like my little brother. He said um, he loves people that follow after him. Don't discourage people that are following after him because they're going in the right direction. They're going towards life uh, and not death. It's pretty amazing. So get right with God and Jesus. He's coming back sooner than most people think. It's pretty amazing. But he loves everybody and he forgives everybody of their sins. Known and unknown sins. I kept, I was kind of screaming at Jesus. Like, how would I know if I had committed that sin? He went, went led me back to Old Testament. And before that, they used to have to offer up sacrifices like if they were poor I guess two turtle doves or whatever or if they didn't have that much or the different types of offerings that they were supposed to offer up to Father God for their sins um, so they're building that place again where <laughs> the Antichrist is going to stand and uh, I didn't think it would, like, I was starting to, like, think, oh, maybe it's going to be forever and ever and ever and ever. I don't know. To me, it's been forever. Ten years is a long time. Anyways, I finally seen that guy. and They're, they're going to have, like, the little white caps, and they're going to bow down and worship this guy, you know, devil. <laughs> Whatever Satan wants to be worshipped. All these other things he wants to worship to destroy encourage people from following after Jesus only you know you know Jesus is the only way the way the truth and life no one shall come to the father except through Jesus uh, so this Easter Sunday is coming up uh, you might want to try to focus on Jesus rather than more the bunnies and the Easter baskets and stuff <laughs> I don't know, one time when I was like set on fire for God and Jesus, like somebody asked, you know, did you want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire? I said, yeah, for the fire. <laughs> and for some reason, when I touched the Easter basket stuff after that, my, like my hands felt like they were burning on fire. Like that was, that was something I wasn't supposed to touch or have or something in their presence. Because well, that day is like a really holy day. When God's son Jesus died on the cross for everybody's sin. Um, so the penalty of sins is death. Um, like you're you're not with God anymore. Mm. I don't know, that's a really scary feeling. That was, feeling to me was ten times worse than any feeling you have here on earth. Like you have like... I don't know, just <laughs> intense feelings sometimes, but the, you know, the next life, it's, it's way worse. I don't know, there's no feeling to describe that feeling of not having God in your life. He's the gift of love. He's, God provided us a gift, the gift of life, uh, eternal life with him through his, what his son Jesus did at the cross. It's very holy day he even if you don't believe you still write you still count how many years back they crucified this man jesus so we count back 2023 years ago and then we, we mark back after the death of jesus that's what we're counting back from it's like how many years ago they crucified this man named jesus at the cross or like about how many years ago and so he's coming back tell people he's coming back and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he like warns in dreams and stuff, but that's pretty amazing that he he's he's done that and it's not me that warns you because he loves you, he loves you, he warns you, amen. Alrighty, get a good way. It's going on a long time. I'll talk to you guys later.